So I have this old Logitech M510 mouse that I really like. And the little dongle stopped receiving well, and it would be glitchy, and I'd have to wiggle it to make it work. So I saw a couple of videos online. People tried to fix them. My experience was a little bit different, so I thought I'd share it for what it's worth. Here's the dongle. Here's the mouse. We don't really need the mouse, but it's a Logitech M510. Quite a nice little handy mouse to use with my laptop. But online people started by saying you need to remove this plastic end from the dongle which is true. And they talked about, you know, putting a knife down somewhere in here. Well, on mine, there's no, uh, there was no slot to put a knife. So I did try to kind of hold it very carefully and take a razor blade and go down along there. But in the end, that's not necessary. And this is dangerous. So don't do that. Uh, you'll cut yourself. So I, the way this attaches is by a couple plastic inserts. So this has been pulled apart, but if I pull it apart now, you'll see. So this may be a little hard to see, but there are little plastic fins on the inside and they cracked on, cracked on this side when I pulled it off, but the other side remained intact. It's a little hard to see there, but anyway, so the way I would recommend to do that then, I don't think you need the knife, probably just um, take some pliers and um, gently rock it as you hold it by here and then you can kind of actually the way it worked for me was to clamp it this way and to kind of wiggle the metal side back and forth and it eventually came loose and kind of popped off and it did break a little bit but that doesn't matter once you do that you can see the chip uh the chip uh, the micro uh the uh, circuit board whatever they is whatever they call it uh, on top of this orange carriage, this orange tray, I tried to remove the whole thing. That's not what you need to do. The little, uh, so there's an orange carriage tray, but it's just uh, sitting on top of that. So you actually should be able to just kind of grab the edges of the circuit board and just work it right out. So it really just sits in this, on top of that plastic carriage. So then like other people online, I did use a piece of paper. I took cardstock and just cut little pieces in the end, I only went with one piece of cardstock, but, you know, you can try. So I reassembled it, just put this back in here, put this back on. And you have to put the cap on in order to try and insert it or else the front of this chip card will raise up and you won't be able to plug it in. You need to have the, the back on in order to put it in a position that you can put it in your computer. So anyway... Um, I put it in and it didn't work. It worked a little better, but I was still having problems. So I thought, well, let me try and clean the contacts. And so I took the little circuit board out again, just wiggle it out. And then I put it down and took a little piece of paper. And this bottle has some rubbing alcohol in it. And I just gave it a couple shots of the rubbing alcohol and just kind of carefully held the back and sort of just gently rub those, there's four contacts on it. Rub the four contacts like this, just to get off any gunk or grime or anything that might've been preventing good contact. So once I did that and put the card back in and put the little cap on and put it back together and put it in my computer, it was working perfectly. So there it is. It worked for this little version of it. But it required uh, putting the paper shim in and cleaning it. So good luck. I hope that uh, you get a good fix on that.